talking to them? Yep, just like you guys. All right, good. Okay. Yep. Mr. Bar here, you want to put a question? Fun to get away a little bit yesterday going to the park. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I've never been to a fun place. So that was a good experience, good team bonding experience. Did you guys golf, uh, ride the go-kart, do everything? Or was it, uh, what, what did you guys all do? There? I suck at golf, so I don't be trying to play it. But yeah, they was riding the go-karts. I was mainly on the water slides. I love swimming, so water slides where I was. Just the team bond, Coach Dvorak talked about it's important to have the team you guys do activities and outings like that, I mean, how close can that bring maybe guys together and have some fun outside of football? I mean, really, everybody be like kind of grouped up, and I feel like those team bonding experiences give you a chance to like bond with the guy, you know, talk to him about stuff. Even though y'all don't really know each other, give you a better chance to like come closer with him. The first, uh, first couple weeks of fall practice, how have you been feeling like physically, your explosiveness, your speed out there in the ski? How's that all kind of come together so far for you? I'm feeling better, better than I have since I've been here. So Coach Campbell got us doing stuff, and it's working. I can feel it working, like, physically. How has Nick come back? He missed the spring, had the injury. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from Nick kind of on his comeback to get out there this August? How I see it, Nick back, 100%, man. He coming in, he grinding. He keeps me going, even when I'm like gassed out, tired in practice. It's still the same Nick. I don't see nothing that changed about him. A couple of the guys who got single digit jersey numbers we learned, and Luke Reimer, you know, one of the linebackers in that group, was was there kind of a message to the team about that? You know, what, what was kind of the what was kind of communicated about those thirty four guys? I mean if sing, if you got a single digit, so like in the past season, you know, two people have a single digit. This year is only one person with like a single digit. And those are the Toughest guys on the team, you know, they come in day in and out, put in the work. I'd be lying if I said it was easy. It's tough, but I mean, they give us like recovery days for us to get our body back so they can push us to our limits. I feel like as a team, you know, grinding this hard, it's going to pay off. We don't know when, but it's going to pay off for sure. Is Saturday the last? Do you guys move out of the dorms on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. How much are guys looking forward to their own bed? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm not even going to lie. But, like, being in the dorm, I feel like it brought me closer. Because Gunnar Gotula, the freshman, I didn't really know him. So being in the dorm with him, me and him kind of got a little bond going on. So I feel like that was a good experience. And I'm saving money being in the dorm, so I like it. <laughs> yeah, Chief, I think Chief's a full-time Jack now. Was he not really working there in the spring? Nah, he wasn't. Man, that's my guy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, me, him, and MJ, like, so we go with Coach T Knight to work pass rush and stuff, and he's came a long way, a long way, and I'm I'm excited to see what we're gonna do this season with us three playing Jack. How would, how would you work with the pass rusher since the spring or since the snap here? I feel like I became more explosive. I look at it like pass rush now, call with no breaks, so just go. Yeah, it plays to my strength, but it also helps me work on my weaknesses because I'm not just a pass rusher, like each, each down. So it kind of complements both, and it helps me know like what I need to work on. You guys got a scrimmage on Saturday. How big will that be for guys um, to have that opportunity to go live and then tackle the ground? I mean, that's big because they preach dominant contact all day. So Saturday we're going to see who really been deliberate through our practice and working on that. So I feel like that's big, and that's a good opportunity for the freshmen to show what they got. I'm everywhere. Like, 
You name it, I'm doing everything, and I like that. I'm all, like, it give me a chance to get to the ball in ways that I never could imagine. We, we first of all talked to you uh, about you to come back, and they mentioned that position, specific, position specifically, like maybe you have something in mind for you. Nah, he ain't mentioned nothing. Yeah, he ain't mentioned that position. Good. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Thanks.